All right, so the first thing I want to do is select that top one, and we need to start changing some properties. So the first thing, of course, is the text color for both of these is white, and the hex is FFF, and we might as well do the same thing for the bottom, FFF, enter. All right, so now both for our text fields are white. Now another thing I want to do is I actually want to change the width of these. So you see how the size of this text field is pretty much what it pretty much matches whatever text is inside. Well that's kind of annoying me even though it really won't be a problem but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the layout width for this text to match parent. So I'm gonna put match parent and as you can see now we can have the text field pretty much span the entire fragment. We're going to do that for both layout width, match parent, and of course the only other problem we get for this is now it's on the left. And of course, if you like, um, I don't know, having your text on the left, you can leave it that way. But typically, meme text is right in the center. So I'm going to switch back to that first one. I'm going to set gravity to center horizontal and center horizontal as well. Now, what I actually want to do is, again, for this app, what's going to happen is the user is going to type in their own text, and it's going to pretty much set this text to whatever they typed in, but I just want to change the default text of it because large text looks kind of weird. So for the default text, I'm just going to name this one like top text and this one bottom text. Actually, let's just name it top and bottom. The user, of course, knows that it is text already. All right, simple enough. So, of course, just so I don't have to look at these stupid little warnings, change this extract string resource. And for the top, I'm just going to call this one top text. Even though we never actually use these through our Java code, at least. And for the bottom one, where you at, light bulb? There you are. And we will just call the bottom text, bottom underscore text, and hit OK. So again, I know it looks kind of weird right now, kind of stretched out and kind of goofy looking. However, whenever we take this fragment and add it to our activity and everything is said and done, it's actually going to look really nice. So for now, the only other thing we have to do is remember, there's two parts to every fragment, the design of it, which we took care of already, and the Java file, the class. All right, so creating the class for this is gonna take like two and a half seconds. So right click the package, just like you created the class for the other one, new Java class. Of course, I'm gonna name this class, bottom picture fragments. All right, it looks good. And now what we can actually do instead of typing everything again is just go to, actually let me arrange this a little bit better. All right, so go to all that stuff we typed out in, I don't know, like two tutorials ago or whatever, and paste in all of those imports. And again, remember I said the two rules that we have to follow is we first need to inherit from that fragment class, so extends fragment, and the second rule was we need to override on create view. And we already typed all this code, so no need to type it again. All right, so the one thing that we actually do have to change is this. Remember, on create view is where we tell it what design or what XML file we're using. So right now, we say, okay, we want to use the top section for this and the top section for this. Well, for that new fragment that we just created, we actually want to use the bottom picture. So if you go to this little bit of code, you can type bottom picture fragment. So now you have two fragment classes. The first one is made to use this, and the bottom one is using this. So now we have two fragments created perfectly. The only other thing we have to do now is add these fragments to the activity. So go to your activity main XML file and first of all 
delete this stupid default text view. I wish they didn't even include that. But to add a fragment to your main activities design, what you do is you scroll down all the way, way at the bottom, and under the custom folder, you're going to see this little thing called fragment. So this means, okay, we want to add a fragment to this design. And of course, this is your main activity, your main screen. So click this. And let's just go ahead and add the top one first. So click top section fragment, which is that fragment we just created, and hit OK. So from here, it says, where do you want to place that fragment? Well, let's just go ahead and plop it in the very top center. And now it says, OK, you have a little issue. I don't know what I want your fragment to look like. And I really don't know why this pops up. I think it's going to be fixed in the future tutorials. But if you just click this right here, it says use this one then it says okay that's what I'm using that's what I don't know this fragments gonna look like so now once we have that taken care of the only other thing we have to do is add that bottom fragment this one right here so go back to your activity main layout and pretty much do the same exact thing so click fragment choose bottom picture fragment choose okay and stick it in the bottom center. Now it says, okay, um, I don't know what your layout's supposed to look like, just click this link, and it says use that XML file, and sweet. Now I told you guys that since this is actually a fragment and not an entire activity, what we can do is we can change the size of this. So highlight fragment two, which is that bottom fragment, and if you go to layout, actually you can change both of these. So layout width right now is wrap content, which means however big your contents are, just fit it to that size. But what we actually want to do is we want to give it a fixed height and width. And we want to make it square. So I'm just going to type uh, like 275 dp and hit enter. So that's the width. And actually, let me just copy that. Now for the height, 275 dp since I want this to be square and hit enter again now since it's positioned at the bottom center that's where it's going to reside and actually that's kind of small and I have a little bit of space so I'm going to change this to 300 actually let me change the height first can we go bigger I think we can go 320 320 can you do it without oh yeah looking sweet looking sweet oh my god I feel like I want to eat that dropped beat alright so that is pretty much how we arrange our main activity so right now again this entire thing is our main activity but it's consisting of two different fragments the top section fragment and the bottom picture fragment pretty sweet <laughs>